I'm Jeff Bartow with Boynton, and today we're going to go over the new Tempon Blue Motion from Avento product. Um, we'll go over all the parts and pieces, how it's packaged, and then we'll also review the waste recycle set that we're going to offer from Bloom that will also be made available on the new Revit shelf um, waste recycles that include Bloom hardware. They will be transitioning over from tandem uh, to the new Movento product, so we'll review that also. So Movento without the tip on Blue Motion is another undermount door slide, similar to tandem, but there are some differences. So some of the differences between Movento and our 563 tandem is there is a slightly reduced opening force. You also have a refined running action. Um, it's very similar to the running action and technology that came out on our new Legra box metal drawer slide. So it's a, a smooth running action and it has a shorter but soft, softer blue motion or soft close stroke. So we need that reduced opening force, that shorter soft close stroke um, to be able to combine tip on and blue motion for those forces to work against one another. So. Movento does take a unique locking device, which we have here. <clears throat> so this locking device does revert back to the narrow hole pattern of the old T51-1700 locking device. The templates that we've been selling for the past couple years have both hole patterns, so they would, your customer, if they have one of those, would be able to drill for the 563 tandem locking devices as well as the Movento locking devices. So the locking devices have side adjustment. Your rear hooks, just like with tandem, they have tilt adjustment and they also have side to side adjustment on the rear hook. You may have noticed on the locking device there is no height adjustment. The height adjustment is now on the slide. So with Movento, your height adjustment is actually incorporated into the runner rather than being part of the locking device. One other difference with the Movento runner, instead of our Blue Matic and Blue Motion being nested here, it's actually attached to the side of the drawer profile itself. So now my Blue Motion and Blue Matic are all encased here. And that also gives us the notches that we need to add on the tip-on unit. So the tip-on unit, there will be an arrow here, an unlocked padlock. So I want to line number one up with that arrow, and then I just slide straight back. And that latches the tip-on unit onto the slide. Now I'll add tip on back to the runner. These orange wheels are used to adjust my front gap. I'm going to adjust them all the way back so I can show you how we set that. So I close the runner. I have my template, half inch on one side, five eighths on the other. My drawer material thickness is five eighths, so I want five eighths aiming out at me. I overlap the template on the runner. Roll the orange wheel forward just until the runner nudges the template. I don't want it pushing out and I don't want there to be a gap between the runner and the template. So I just want it to nudge up against. And that's going to set our gap at the optimum distance of three and a half millimeters. Now I'm going to install the synchronization rod, which comes 40 some odd inches and you cut to length. Use these adapters to go into the end and this marries the right and left tip-on mechanisms together to ensure that both fire at the same time. So if a customer pushes on the left hand or right hand side of the drawer, it just ensures that you get optimal function. Your drawer box with Movento, tip-on Blue Motion Movento, is the same dimensions as with Tandem. The only thing that does change you'll notice is the rear notch here. So this rear notch needs to be 4 and 15 sixteenths as a minimum, so roughly 5 inch rear notch, or if the customer wants, they can take the whole back off. Um, that will work also. So now my gap is set with the template at three and a half millimeters and I have the mechanical pushed open with soft close. I will note that even with the tip on blue motion installed, if you still had a handle on this drawer and you opened it, now I did not activate the tip on blue motion so I do not have to reset that so I can close it nice and easy however I like. Once I reset that tip on, I'm actually have to reset the tip on before I get to the soft close. So once you've activated the push to open, you have to close it hard enough to reset that tip on before I get to the soft close. So with tip on blue motion from Movento, one key thing to point out is that there are no rear brackets for this program. All the runners are point series. So we're looking 
uh, for customers doing frameless or blocked out face frame applications. Um, that being said, our targets would include high-end contemporary or residential, um, also commercial applications such as medical or dental or sterilization may be an issue, and then of course waste recycle applications.